Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to Hey Day. And today this video is all about a request from you guys out there in the world. So we're going to head on over to the fishing area, focus on the new fishing spots and start talking a little bit more about this area. Well you know the fishing area, it's the place where you come every day to do a little bit of fishing, maybe load up the tackle box like I'm doing here, realize that your tackle box is fully loaded and you say to yourself, oh my god I need more space. Well, don't forget to upgrade your tackle box, everybody. Now, if you've got a booster, use it, use it, use it, because boosters are, again, very beneficial within the fishing area. It could be for the machines, like this one here, or it could be for the fishing spots. Now, personally, I like the ones for the fishing spots, because it means it turns around my actual little birdies a lot faster. The ones for the machines can be good if I actually need it at that moment. Well, at the moment within the game, we've got a lot of fish that can be caught, and all of your fish that you can catch are in the fishing album. Hey Day, can we have some more, please? Each of the fish gives you a specific reward, so there's the bronze, silver, and gold, and each of those key weights is worth diamonds. You've got, in total, 15 spots now, because three more have been added in the game, which is absolutely fantastic. So I do like the fact that there are more fishing spots now. So it certainly makes it a lot easier when it comes to loading up six of the traps for the duck machine, six of the traps for the lobster, and three extra ones for fishing. Now you are going to need expansion materials, as you can see here. So the regular land expansion. Now if you are a level 50 or lower, the fishing area should be one of your priorities. Like I said, it gives a lot of diamonds, so you need to be opening up this area. But if you're a high level player, okay, especially now that we've got these new spots, you should also have opened up these three spots. Now since making this video, I've actually done that. I've leveled up a lot more within my t fishing area. All of my spots are now open, and I'd like to thank all of my friends for supporting me with that. Now, what is my request for you about? Well, each of these fishing spots that we know within the game gives us a particular fish. So some of the fish can only be caught in certain spots, and when it comes to trying to catch those fish, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's more challenging. Now, with this latest update, we've got three brand new spots, and we really don't know what fish can be caught in those locations. So this is my request to you. For spot number 13, 14, and 15, that's those brand new spots, please make a note of the fish that you are catching. So what is the name of that fish? What lure did you use as an example? What size circle did you actually catch that fish from? Now if you need more information on the kind of information we're looking for, please head on over to the Heyday Wiki. The link is down below in my video by the way. So make sure you head on over to the Heyday Wiki, see what's required for the fishing area information, and that's what we're looking for. Now we've got imagery for the fish, we've got the database there already, but it's which fish for for which spot that is the key here. So is it a Hushin? Is it a goldfish? Is it one of the more challenging fish that can only be caught in certain spots? Tell us that information and then we can update the database. So for spot 13, 14 and 15, the brand new spots, please let us know number one, what fish is caught in those spots. Number two, if you can take a screenshot as you catch it, that would be perfect. Uh, if you know the lure that you used as well, would be wonderful as well. And also tell us what size circle and then we will be really really happy. Now I need to start doing this myself as well so I've got to open up these spots. Now as I said you're going to need land expansion materials. So as you can see here I've got some of them and I don't have all of them here. So I'm going to open up the one spot and it's as simple as this. So you just press the green tick mark that spot is open and new fish are bouncing. Now just because there's fish bouncing up and down it doesn't mean that those fish can be caught in that spot. It's a generic fish bounce based option. So basically I cast the lure in, the lure is sitting there on the water, the fish comes up to it and just as usual the fish will decide to grab that actual hook. Now you'll see there it's like a medium sized circle as such, okay, and when the fish is caught you'll see that it will give me this image here, so a copper red horse and the weight. Now if you can take a screenshot of that, that would be perfect. With the circle size let us know as well. Uh, we already know how long it takes there, we know the kind of name for the fishing spot and we know the diamond information. That part is easy, so you don't need to worry about that. It's the fish information that is key for us at the moment. 
Now I don't ask that you actually use diamonds to open it up by the way. Uh, in this case it's my choice because I want to see the different kind of fish. Let's see. Okay, we've caught one already. What's this one going to be? Now it's the same size circle as such. Different fish is caught this time, so great. We now know that the shadow bass can also be caught in this location, which is absolutely wonderful. So can you add to that? Can you tell me the information I need? I hope so. I really, really do. Now we've already got an extensive database, as you know. So uh, as I said, please do go and check the Heyday Wiki for information, especially if you're not sure what's ultimately required. Okay, right, now you know how much is required, you know the fishing spot, you know what I'm after. Let's go and have a look at the brand new map. Now, thank you very much to the person who actually provided this map. It's uploaded to the Heyday Wiki. You can now see all 15 fishing spots there with the time it takes to actually turn those around. Now, like I said, some of those spots are very special. They only allow you to catch specific fish, like spot 3, 9, and 2 as an example, but are 13, 14, and 15 the same? Well, that's down to you to provide provide me with the information and please do so. Okay right that's the end of this fishing video. If you would like to subscribe to my channel you've got the option of doing that so please do. There's a link coming up inside the little TV very shortly as well uh, if not already. You've also got the bell notification to make sure you actually get told when I'm uploading and if you would like to like the video that would be nice as well. Don't forget to comment and I will see you next time. So take care, have fun and good fishing everybody and thanks in advance for the information. See you now. Bye bye.